what is up Wolfsters? this video is actually for trump supporters so trump support if any trump supporters are watching this is for you and in this video i i want you to provide some evidence for me down in the comments please tell me or link them to me tell me where to look for some actual evidence of voter fraud because I, I i see countless videos on youtube of all these people claiming voter fraud and 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 you know i'm i was a subscriber of tyrone magnus but no more because i'm starting to see how fucking dumb he is that he's sort of just just like all the other trump supporters and i'm not saying he, he supports trump i don't know but but he's definitely like all the other fucking trump supporters where where voter fraud would not even be a question other than the fact that Donald Trump is is yelling it at the top of his lungs. Voter fraud, voter fraud. Because oh my God, how could I possibly lose? So so I want some evidence, please. Not not conjecture. Not not well. It, it, isn't it fishy that this is? It? Fine. If it's fishy, find some fucking evidence. I mean, there's tons of you guys out there. There's tons of you guys outside of you know vote telling, uh, ballot telling places. Find some fucking evidence. Find them. All the videos I've seen are no evidence there's there's videos from project veritas of a postal worker supposedly committing voter fraud you watch the video the, 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 nothing the, the video could be com titled something completely different uh, uh uh watch mailman deliver some mail th th that's it there's nothing there's no ballots in the in the video nothing like that so anyways um so you know i just find it amazing i find it amazing that that the deep state according to all the trump supporters and trump himself that the deep state is brazen enough to steal the election you know and, and donald trump is yelling it at the top of his lungs he's the most powerful man in the fucking world okay they're strong enough to steal the election they're strong enough to create this fake covid pandemic tank the economy by locking everything down you know uh, uh but they're not strong they were not strong enough to steal the election for hillary clinton who was a you know this this also ultra powerful corrupt politician okay so not only that but the argument I i'm hearing is you know that the deep state is is trying to socially uh, uh, uh what's the word um social engineers to to be more leftist to 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 want to become socialists and all that um i don't I, now i'm a bernie sanders supporter and while he's definitely to the left of joe biden the man is is he's not socialist okay he's not socialist but he's definitely left of joe biden how come the deep state didn't how come they didn't steal it for bernie sanders why why not why why hasn't the deep state stolen the election for the house and the in the right in the senate i think uh, uh right now uh, it's down now it's dominated by by republicans isn't it why didn't they steal it then right um they're strong enough to steal the election for donald trump but yet they're dumb enough they're smart they're smart and all that right they're deep into everything to steal the election for Donald Trump, but yet they allow Hunter Biden's laptop to be forgotten in some pawn shop, and then and then brought out and exposed. Right? They're 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 strong enough to steal the election, but not for that. That brings me to another question: Why, if the deep state and the Democrats are stealing the election, why the fuck? Why are they stealing it? By such a narrow margin why now, now okay so <laughs> this is just ridiculous man so so not only that but they're brazen enough to commit widespread voter fraud while trump is yelling it at the top of his lungs and there's there's all the suspicion across the country from his supporters who are vigilantly watching and looking for any any evidence and yet they're not finding it okay now i know what you'll say i know what some of you will say well well they're not they're not stealing the election by a wide margin because then it'll be suspicious fine fine your all your fake polls which which are just some form uh, uh 
because uh, you know I, I get that a lot of you guys don't know what polls are polls are simply a way to sort of try to figure out how the election might go all right they're not meant to be like oh that, that that's definitely gonna happen no although a lot of times they're pretty accurate they're pretty they they do tell us how an election is gonna go and it often they, it works out that way with Donald Trump it hasn't been working out that way because honestly my own feeling my own sort of uh, uh, a theory on this is that that a lot of people who voted for Trump lied to the posters because of the uh, the you know the this being scared of voter fraud. They, they're probably thinking like, oh, if I tell them I voted for Trump or I'm gonna vote for Trump, they're gonna toss out my ballot. So that's what I think went on. Okay. So, but anyways, so so the deep state is strong enough to make these fake ass polls to make the everybody think that Donald Trump is losing, but yet. Even when those polls said that Texas and Florida would likely go to Biden, they were not strong enough to to steal the election in Texas and Florida. Not not even by a, they could have done the narrow margin there, right? They could have done that. They could have done it narrowly and then said, well, the polls said it would have been by a landslide, but the fact that they're narrow, yeah, yeah, that, that's that's then you know that makes it more uh, plausible, right? No, they're they're strong enough to fucking steal the election. But not in Texas and not in Florida. Ridiculous, ridiculous, man. So please tell me. So, anyways, I wanted to go over some of these dumbass claims uh, that Trump, uh, as particularly Trump, but of course his his followers are saying, right? So, so let's go over these. Okay, first claim: Donald Trump here. Okay, quote: They don't want us to have any observers, although we want a court case. The judge said you that you have to have observers. Democrats have gone to the state co- Supreme Court to try and ban our election observers, and, and very strongly. Now, we won the case, but they're going forward. They don't want anybody there. Okay, here's the reality of this, okay? First off, there were they were allowed to be there. Also, on Thursday, a Pennsylvania judge order, ordered to allow uh, poll observers within six feet. Here's another claim. In Philadelphia, quote, okay, in Philadelphia, Observers have been kept far away, so far that people are using binoculars to try and see, and there's been tremendous problems caused. They put paper on all over all the windows and you can't see in, okay? Now this one is somewhat true, but very misleading, okay? There's been reports of poll watchers, you, you know, using binoculars. So th- there's that, okay? Now we don't know how far away, how far away from the post there are, but they're there. And the fact that they're using binoculars that's probably a good thing. Okay. As far as the covered up windows, that's not that's misleading because apparently there are some some windows that are covered up with like posters and all that. But those windows, very there's no reports of those windows being windows that the poll watchers have to see through. They could be windows that are completely irrelevant to actually observing the the uh, the polling. Not only that, not only that, but the city actually set up a YouTube live stream where people can watch the, the vote counting process, the ballot counting process for themselves. What more do you want? Okay, no evidence. Still no evidence. Okay, another claim. Poll workers in Michigan were duplicating ballots, but when our observers attempted to challenge the activity, the poll workers jumped in in front of the volunteers to block their view so that they couldn't see what they were doing, and it became a little bit dangerous. There's no evidence. Donald Trump made this claim with no evidence whatsoever. None. Give me some fucking evidence. All right, another claim. One major hub was counting ballots in Detroit, covered up windows again with large pieces of cardboard, and so they wanted to protect and block the counting area. They didn't want anybody seeing the counting, even though these were observers who are legal observers that were supposed to be there. Now this one, it's mostly false. I'll say that. All right, there, there's some element of truth, but let's let's see what the truth is. Okay. So, according to uh, 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 factcheck.org, okay, Mr. Trump appears to be referencing, uh, uh, this This appears to be a reference to TCF Center in Detroit, where chaos erupted earlier this week when election challengers yelled for counting by the 134 absentee voter counting boards to be halted because they were stopped from entering uh, the counting space. But the issue was the number of election challengers allowed in the TCF. 
State law allows one challenger per party to serve in a county board. And when Democratic and Republican election challengers were stopped from entering the TCF center, it was because the number of challengers exceeded the maximum allowed by law. This means that this was the same law when when Donald Trump beat Hillary, okay? Lawrence Garcia, corporate counsel for the city of Detroit and a commissioner on the Detroit Election Commission told CBS News on Wednesday the city was not allowing more challengers because we had gone over the 134 challenger limit for each party. The count on the book was 250 Democrat to 225 Republican, plus or minus one or two, he said. Okay, that was the count. Not that they're allowing 250 Democrat and 225. That's just how many there were. Okay. Garcia also said some of the glass was was papered over uh, because poll workers were being filmed. The worker said the workers he said were upset. They felt intimidated. I was concerned that people might have a lens strong enough to actually see the ballots. Garcia added that that uh, uh, the wall, the the paper was up on the windows. That does not mean the counting was being conducted in secret. There's hundreds of people in this room, thousands maybe, who can witness what they're doing at those tables. No evidence of voter fraud anywhere. I want legitimate evidence of widespread voter fraud anywhere. And by the way, by the way, this, this all this fucking entire idea that that the mail-in ballots are illegal, you know, Trump saying they will if you count the legal ones, I win, but the illegal ones, then I lose, or however the quote was. Think about how ridiculous that is. First of all, mail-in ballots have been legal for years for countless elections why all of a sudden are they going to be illegal who gives a fuck if more people decided to make to do mail-in votes who gives a fuck there, in, you know there is a fucking pandemic you know that right you know that a lot of people are gonna just decide not to go into the fucking uh, the, the the voting booths right to whatever right to the voting places you know that right uh uh, uh and then the fact that that some things were initially uh, uh, where in, Trump initially had the lead and then Biden caught up and surpassed them. Do you want to know why that happened? Well, the reason why is that some states counted the in-person ballots first. Now, if you think about it, because, you know, supposedly you guys have been using your heads and saying shit's fishy, like, oh my God, why isn't it fishy that, that Donald Trump's rallies were way more crowded than, than Biden's? which is fucking dumb as fuck to to use that as a, as any kind of a hint of what an election is going to go like anyways if you think about that trump is encouraging his voters to to forget about the about covid don't worry about it if you get sick you're going to be okay don't wear masks go out and vote while biden and democrats are urging people to be safe and and if they have to go out in person, do so. But if they can do it by mail, do that as well. It makes sense, right? And then adding adding to that the fact that, again, the the in person ballots were counted first, Trump. Then you get the mail in ballots that are have a much higher percentage of of Biden ballots. Then it makes sense that if they're counted later, you know, you get that 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 catch up and then surpass. What more do you want? I want some evidence. I want some evidence right now, guys. Right now. All right? Right now. Peace out.